Cornwall just uh, made two changes from the last game and they won 3 1 against Devon. Josh Story in at number five and uh, Tim Hans in at number three. Uh, Cornish on the ball again. This time the cross does come in. Wharton at the far post and uh, side footed it wide. I thought for all the world that was that was in. Should have been in. Should have been in. Um, great play by Cor Kai Cornish again. He started off very, very sharp. He even headed a ball. But Alex should have put the, the county one up there then. Uh, Barton again looks up. Stretches the play. And that's a great ball to Alex Wharton. Oh, a shot on goal which uh, just inches wide. Bowes again with a throw, but O'Connor read that one, but uh, Box back in possession again through Harris. And the cross in from uh, Holland. And the, the effort from number 10, Harvey Yates. Elwell oh, got a hand to it, but uh, Box take the lead. Yeah, that was really, really poor from, from the Cornish boys. Didn't really, really defend the cross at, at all. It wasn't really a lot of power behind the shot either, and it just seemed to uh, elude the keeper. And... Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a soft, soft goal to score. Having most of the play opportunities to clear, clear cut that chances and the boys have gone 1-0 down now. So Barton back to Harrison Jewell. Across the pitch to the skipper, Josh Story. Barton's made the run on this right side and that's where the ball's gone. And yes, it's over McCaughlin. Barton just couldn't keep his feet, but cross comes in. Barton, nice little ball to Kai Cornish. A little bit of uh, quick feet work by Cornish, but not the end product. Yates on the ball, and then to the... Uh, and number nine, Jack Hall. Cross towards that far post. And that is a great ball in. And it's a header. Which gives Sparks and Bucks a two-goal lead. And, uh, well, Cornwall just uh, not defending that prettily at the moment. No, I thought Josh should have headed that away. I, think, I don't think he knew that it was behind him, actually. I, I think he was unaware of the guy in behind him. But it was a poor, poor goal to concede, yes, really. We were pulled, pulled about again as a back four. The Barks and Bucks have, have took their took their opportunities now then. This game is far from over for our Cornish boys. We just need that need that one one goal and I think that could really, really stimulate them then. But at the moment they've got a lot of work to do. Now the referee paces out the ten yards. Cornish with the free kick. Around the wall. Keeper didn't uh, expect the ball to bounce up in and, and hit him and uh, then there's a foul conceded by Cornwall. Short free kick, Tucker to Cornish. Outside the hands and then Cornish again on the ball. O'Connor is inside, looks to have a shot. He does, but uh, Parslow right behind it. So the two Cornwall cool central defenders up for this corner. Cornish gets to it first. Back to Tucker. This time another cross in. Oh, Barks have two attempts to clear it. It's still uh, on the edge of the penalty area. Tucker with another cross. Finds O'Connor to Alex Wharton. Towards that far post. And, uh, well, was it a cross or a shot? But it uh, doesn't matter because it's in the back of the net. Oh, that's a cross. That's a cross all day long. That's a cross all day long. Um, but but we'll, we'll take that. We'll take that. And then just, just then, just building up to that, two or three minutes, build up to that. There was a little bit of uh, momentum and interest, and um, yep, I've um, I've claimed many of those myself. It was a, a great shot by Alex. So then now, all of a sudden, we're hearing a bit of noise out there from Cornwall. As, uh, they can feel. So you can you can you can just feel the feel the feel the tempo lift immediately. And that's what we talked about when when you're playing the football. A, a little goal or a little you get something to get back in the game. Five minutes ago, we were just looking at it down. Or where were the next? where the next effort was going to come from. And, and now we're right, right back into this with the tempo. Um, and it's, look, and it's, um, 
it's looking good. Oh, Hooper is fouled there on the edge of the box, but uh, I thought Hooper had gone down. Well, I thought that was as that was as good as seen in the in the local baths from up down here. I thought he'd blow his whistle. I thought, oh, he's gonna he's gonna book him for simulation. But um, blimey, okay, we'll take that. Um, tails are up now. Another goal back in there before half time would be super. So George Tucker to take this free kick. Plenty of gold shirts in the box. Late run by Jewell. Shot by corner. Cornish blocked. And then yeah. and then it's a, a toe poke home by Harrison Jewell. Cornwall back in it. <laughs> I tell you, he was nearly on the pitch. Nearly on the pitch was his was Harrison Jewell's father. And nearly had a hole back from the pitch then. Well done, Harrison. It was nothing that um, Cornwall haven't, uh, haven't deserved this this half. Um, they were looking a bit sorry for themselves literally five minutes ago. And a, a little bit of uh, tempo, keeping the ball short, a little bit of passion. And we're right back into this game now. <laughs> 